Hello again, everyone. I'm Mr. Martinez, and with me again is my helper, Lisa Castaneda. Hi. We're going to talk about our next activity called Rock, Paper, Scissors, Math. To do this, we're going to face one another. We're going to start off with our Rock, Paper, Scissors as you normally would. But how do we do it with math now? Well, we're going to use addition. So if you're in TK through second grade, this is the perfect activity for you. Instead of doing a rock, paper, or scissors, we're going to put out a number between one and five. Make sure that when you present it, it's very open and clear to your partner. Don't try and hide it. So we're going to demonstrate that now, okay? So here we go. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, and then a number. So it looks like I have a two. Mrs. Castaneda has a two. So if we add that, what does that equal? That's right, four. Whoever says the answer first wins that round. So now we're gonna do a live one for you right now. Here we go. Ready? Eight. We tied so no one gets the point. Let's try again. Ready, go. Two. Two. I believe I said it first, so I would win that round. And you can go to maybe five rounds, 10 rounds, however much longer you wanna go. So just a fun little game you could do if you don't have a lot of space, and it kinda of puts a little twist to what you already know, and you get to practice your math. Now, if you happen to be in a higher grade, maybe third grade through fifth, we can try multiplication. So this time, when we put our numbers forward, we're going to multiply them. So let's do a slow one to demonstrate. So. I have a two, Mrs. Castaneda has a three, so two times three is? That's right, six. So now we're gonna do a live one for you and see who gets it first. Ready? <laughs> four. So one times four equals four. So I win that round. So it works that way too. That's our activity, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Math. If you're in TK through second, don't forget you can use addition. Third through fifth grade or higher, you can use your multiplication. Subtraction doesn't really work because if you accidentally go underneath zero, it becomes a bit difficult. You get into negative numbers. It's a little confusing. Stick to addition and multiplication. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate another way to be a little bit more physically active in our rock, paper, scissors. This is gonna be cat and mouse rock, paper, scissors. So to do this, you're gonna need a little bit more room. I wouldn't suggest doing this in the home because you will be running. So get yourself a little bit of an outdoor space. We're gonna choose this small one just for demonstration purposes, but if you have a longer yard, you can do that as well. So we're gonna start in the middle and we're gonna use the ends of the yard. We're gonna use this end here plus that end on the other side. So first, we're gonna meet in the middle, and we're gonna do a normal rock, paper, scissors. So whoever wins the regular rock, paper, scissors has to try and tag the loser. If you lose, you have to try and run away and run backwards to your base or to the end of your part of the yard. So let's demonstrate that now. Mrs. Castaneda is gonna choose scissors. I'm gonna choose paper, so I'm gonna lose on purpose to show you. So let's do that first. Rock, paper, scissors. So I lost. Because I lost, I need to run back to my end of the yard and she's gonna try and chase me and tag me. So I'm gonna turn. Mrs. Castaneda won, she's gonna chase after me. So as I go, I need to try and make it to my end of the yard. If I make it, no points are scored. The only way to win or score in this game is if she catches me and tags me before I reach it. So we'll show you how a point looks. She wins again, so I need to turn and run, except this time she'll catch me. She tags me, she scores one point. So now, that's the only way that you are allowed to score any kind of points. You can play a game to where we can go first to five, 
wins the round. If there's anyone else that would like to play cat and mouse uh, rock, paper, scissors, you can rotate them in after a loss is made or after someone scores five points total. So you can change it however you'd like, get as many people involved as you want. Again, this is Cat and Mouse Rock, Paper, Scissors with Mrs. Casineta. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out some of my older ones and we'll see you in the next one.